Weatherington. Good morning. Uh, for the new members on the board, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Steve Schaefersman, president of Texas Citizens for Science. I am a consulting working scientist in the petroleum and environmental industries and was a university professor for 23 years specializing in evolutionary science. For 31 years, I've traveled to Austin to uh, speak to the state board about protecting the integrity and accuracy of science education in Texas. Um, individuals and groups have attacked scientific topics, and this continues to be the case today. I recommend that this board accept the recommendation of the commissioner and Texas Education Agency to adopt the supplemental materials on their lists. This includes the three major textbook publishers. Uh, the only errors I found are listed at the bottom of my written testimony with links. One of them is Heckel's vertebrate embryo diagrams. I recommend that this board not force legitimate mainstream publishers to censor or make changes to the evolution content of their materials in ways that damage the content's scientific accuracy, imply a supernatural intelligent design process operates in nature, or mislead students about the reliability of modern evolutionary biology and the scientific method. Two years ago, several biology curriculum standards were politically forced into the science curriculum with majority votes by members of this board against the intentions and explicit advice of the scientists and science educators who originally wrote those science standards. I was one of those scientists who helped write the standards. The publishers created new material that satisfies these unnecessary standards in a scientific manner, and they should not be censored. Uh, some of the errors you identified in uh, the books, of course, can be changed, the factual errors. Finally, I recommend you do not adopt the instructional materials of International Databases, LLC. These uh, modules contain many scientific errors. They explicitly advocate intelligent design creationism. Uh, even if the ID mentions are removed, the modules still contain misleading and incompetent discussions of several important scientific topics. Okay, thank topics. you, uh, Dr. Schaefersman. Thank Any you. Questions? Ms. Leo. So, Dr. Schaefersman, the two books that currently are using Haeckel's embryos, drawings, the original from the 1800s, you would recommend that those two that are using those Haeckel's embryos drawings, that that portion be removed or considered an error? Yes, I would recommend they be changed. Okay. Most biology textbooks have changed them over Correct. the past years, and they've substituted photographs or drawings from photographs. Uh, for some reason, uh, these, these three publishers, actually, there were three, um, decided to use the original figures, and they're, they're inaccurate, and they, uh, they shouldn't be used. Okay, thank you. Mr. Mercer. Thank you, Madam Chairman, Dr. Shearsman. I'm, I'm real interested, again, is my microphone on, I'm sorry? On Haeckel's diagrams again, I, th I believe we're in agreement. You're saying they should not be included? Or? They should not be included in the traditional form. Uh, vertebrate embryos have great similarities. The possession of a notochord and of the, f the pharyngeal slits or grooves are there. They show common ancestry among vertebrates and in evolutionary relationships. But Haeckel's drawings are erroneous. He um, didn't have the most accurate data in his day to, uh, to draw his vertebrate embryo figures, and today we know that those are incorrect. Now, in his time, he was criticized also, but he made changes even in his own time to some of his diagrams. But today, as they come down to us, they should not be used in the form he presented. But I would, not obje I would object to removing vertebrate embryo photographs or pictures entirely because those are very important for demonstrating the close evolutionary relationships of humans with other vertebrates. We share many similarities in embryonic form. For instance, the notochord and the pharyngeal slits are Dr. schaefer you'll stick to the question they, at hand. I, yes. I, Thank I, you. I guess my, my real question is that apparently we do agree in terms of comparative anatomy that the Haeckel's diagrams, which appeared in textbooks, including college textbooks, up to early 2000s, were, were fraudulent should not have been there. They were in um, error. They were in error. I wouldn't call them fraudulent. I would call them in error. I would go as far as fraudulent because they no, were I would not use that term at all, done. sir. But uh, and I would note that one of the uh, books that I had problem with, one of the publishers from Rice for Biology, yes. uh, Rice is still doing well in physics, whatever, but they actually pulled out of biology, correct? Oh, did they? And they, uh, they had those diagrams in. So they thank did. You. Another headline. So there are only two now. Okay. Another headline, we're in agreement on a removal of Haeckel's diagrams. Then. Okay. Okay, other questions? Uh, I just have a follow-up. 
Any, anybody else? Okay, Mrs. Leo. Um, I found two, what, what, what were all three? Well, Rice University was one. Uh, the other two, um, what was it, was it Holt? And okay. there was another one, uh, Apex or something. I, I have them on, if you go to my website there. Adaptive Learning. Uh, adaptive Learning, that was it. If you go to my website under. Okay, and learning.com. At the, the Heckel Vertebrate Embryo, yeah, Rice Tech Science. Thank you. It's there. Thank you, all yeah. right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Franklin.